Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Mm, hope everybody's doing good out there. Hope you are, hope you are. Yes, more, yes. Okay, that was slow. That's all right. What are we going to do? Let's take a look and see what's going on here. So, I told you guys I was having some issues with um, the music and stuff, right? So, this is one of the, the readings, the comment readings that I did. Um, this one, hmm, I absolutely love my Scorpio, but he had his ex over all weekend after telling me we needed some space to work things out between us because he wanted to be with me. After finding out the ex was there, I had to let him go. I'm devastated. He's the love of my life. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for being brave. Okay. With that said, we're going to take a look. What's going on here? Why? Okay, which cards do I want to pull? Ancestors, let's take a look with these. Ancestors, please tell me what's going on with her, Scorpio. Hang on, I'm having a sip. Mm -hmm. Ancestors, please tell me what's going on with her, Scorpio. What is his energy? Ancestors, show me, show me her, Scorpio. Wow. Yup. This it, this card came out before, but it was reversed. I'm sorry. It was upright. So I feel like because there's some time passed, it looks like this person is now questioning their fate. When I pulled this the first time, it was upright. It was upright, and this person was kind of stuck between two people. There were two people here. One was getting the short end of the leash. But then your person decides to start being a little bit selfish because they're worried about something having to do with career or long-term future investments. There's something having to do with their future, their fate. There's something that they know they have to do, right? So it looks like from before, this person looked like they were trying to make a decision about who is going to be with them on this journey. Now it looks like this person is still sort of in limbo. As a matter of fact, I feel like it may have gotten more confusing for them. Hang on. Let's see what else we have. I feel like this person is drawn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I feel like this person felt like they were cheating themselves, too. Hang on. Mm, this person is a dreamer. This person has Knight of Cups energy. So this person... Maybe you thought that you guys had this deep relationship. You did have this discussion where he's like, oh, I want to be with you, right? But I feel like this person may be taking their time doing something like, I don't know, investing in a relationship. I feel like this person may have been in and out a little bit, right? I feel like this person may be, because it shows that this person is a dreamer. It, it kind of feels like, I don't know who had the false hope here. I don't know if it's you or if it was them with their dreams confessing things to you about how things are going to go but this person's energy is a person i feel like this person is slow to act right i feel like this person is slow to act in this particular situation because this person has a choice to make or there's something that there's something that's delaying them they're being delayed because of choices that need to be made having to do with their future and also having to do with emotions and who they want to be with long term this person is trying to well, this is a magician. It's reversed. This person is trying to, um, I think, I feel like this person might be trying to find a way to get what they want and have even balance in something. I feel like they're, I don't know if this has to do with work or them trying to master something having to do with like um, taking action towards balance, which is what they want. There's something that they're looking to manifest here. So this is talking about turning dreams into reality. So I think that, I just think this person in general, their energy, I don't want to say is scattered. I think it's actually very focused on what they need. And I feel like this person is making choices and decisions. Now, let's see what else we have. One more ancestors. 
Okay. We have Seven of Wands. So the Seven of Wands talks about, basically, defense. It talks about there being some sort of competition. So I don't know if this is your energy or their energy. I'm not sure. But it talks about obstacles and challenges and, and trying to get into some sort of defense mode. So I don't know if you guys have maybe had some sort of argument over this or maybe you feel like you're playing offense. or do, I'm not sure what's going on here. But there's somebody, okay, oops, then we have three of swords. This talks about affairs of the heart. So there's three people involved here that we can see so far. I feel like somebody's trying to manifest what they want, and I feel like there's a lot of hurdles. I feel like there's a lot of um, issues, issues in terms of decisions. They, this person has a lot of fears, and they have challenges, and it's, let's tell me more, ancestors. Mm -mm. Okay, this card is the Nine of Cups. So this card is talking about wishes coming true. It talks about good fortune. Fate. Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles talks about success delayed. Or maybe there's something that's going to move fast. I'm not sure what this is about. I feel like this person that you're dealing with is in limbo. I feel like... I'm not sure if it's you fighting against the competition. Because it seems like you may have relinquished yourself. But I, I do want to confirm that this is an affair of the heart. Okay, this is... I don't know if this is your energy or it might be your person... I'm not sure. I don't even remember what reading this is under, but yeah, we have three of swords reversed. So that talks about affairs of the heart. That talks about coming into some quote, some sort of good fortune and wishes coming true. But there's still some issue with faith here. There's still something. There's some patience. There's somebody waiting something out because there's a decision that needs to be made. So if your person is staying away from you, it's because they're trying to manifest their future. That doesn't make it right. It doesn't. But I feel like this person is in deep need of figuring out their future. And it looks like they're trying to figure out who they want to be with. Okay. Let's take a look at this. Ancestors. Any messages? Any messages from the Scorpio here? Subconscious thoughts? Anything to offer? Ooh. Okay. I need to feel in control. I have to make the decisions. Hmm. As weird as this is, this feels so weird. Ooh, ancestors. Ancestors, tell me more. If you let me, I'll take care of you. Oh my goodness. Okay. Ancestors, one more. I need to feel in control. If you let me, I'll take care of you. I feel like this person is tying up loose ends. Ooh, you drive me crazy. I feel like this is more, I don't feel, I feel like, yeah, you drive the person crazy, but I feel like you, I feel like this is a different kind of you drive me crazy. It's like you drive me crazy, like, I, I know it looks crazy. I know this looks crazy that he had, that he had, uh, 